two smartphones in the recent past may have had to be in such a fierce position of competition against each other as the Xiaomi Mi A1 and the Moto G5 S Plus. Let's dive straight into the comparison to see what's what. Let's start with the designs itself. The Mi A1 is the sleeker one of the two and features a 7.6mm slim profile that's a bit narrower and taller than the G5 S Plus. The Mi A1 is largely based on the design of the China-centric Mi 5X itself and there's very little that one can see in terms of design change apart from the model number and Android 1 logo at the back. While the build quality is excellent and the device feels solid, it doesn't feel as premium or as robust as the Moto G5 S Plus. The Moto G5 S Plus is only a tad bit heavier but it feels built like a tank and has a slightly shorter yet wider and thicker frame. Coming to the display, they both have again similar 5.5 inch 1080p IPS panels. The Moto G5 S Plus has more vibrant looking colors while the Mi A1 seems to be more natural and sharpness is about the same on both. While visibility and brightness is great indoors, both have reflective displays that hamper sunlight legibility to an extent. The Mi A1 has proper 2.5D curved glass up front while the G5 S Plus has a very slight hint of 2.5D curved with Corning Gorilla Glass 3. Mi A1 does have Corning Gorilla Glass as well, but an unspecified version of it. The software side of things is nearly identical and since both are running on stock Android Nougat out of the box. However, only the Mi A1 has Android 1 branding from Google that states that the device will receive Android Oreo before the end of the year as well as become one of the first devices to receive Android P. Since Lenovo have now switched to stock Android, there's a high chance that G5 S Plus 2 would get Android Oreo pretty soon, but there is no definitive timeline. They even have the same 4GB of RAM, Snapdragon 625 chipset and hybrid dual SIM card slot that can be used to expand the 64GB of memory. The G5 S Plus also has a lower 32GB variant as well. In terms of performance too, they are neck and neck and even the Mi 5X Mi UI was blazing fast so the Mi A1 should be even faster. There are three capacitive keys on the Mi A1 while the G5 S Plus makes use of on-screen navigation keys and has a fingerprint scanner beneath the display. It's an always active unit and can be used to unlock or even lock your device. The latter can be done even without a registered fingerprint. However, the fingerprint sensor on the G5 S Plus doesn't double up as a home button. The Mi A1 gets a similarly fast and accurate fingerprint sensor, however, one that's mounted at the back and can be used only for unlocking. In terms of audio quality, both are neck and neck, with perhaps the G5 S having an advantage in terms of loudspeaker performance and the Mi A1 having an advantage coming to the output and quality over the audio jack. Talking about the cameras, both these phones have different implementations of the dual camera system. Keeping things short, the Mi A1 offers better image quality as well as two different focal lengths. While the G5 S Plus takes decent photos, it isn't as good as the Mi A1 and the secondary camera does seem more of a gimmick than anything else. However, the G5 S Plus has an edge when it comes to video since it is the only phone among the two to offer video stabilization even if it's only at 1080p 30fps and the selfie experience too is a bit better with more detailing and a flash to help. We'll be doing a detailed comparison of both the cameras pretty soon but until then you can check out our solo camera reviews of the Mi A1 as well as the G5 S Plus from the description below. Both have nearly identical battery capacities too. G5 S Plus with its 3000mAh battery and the Mi A1 with its 3080mAh battery practically hold the same amount of charge. The G5 S Plus gives around 5 to 5.5 five hours of screen on time on a single charge. The Mi 5X itself gave up to 6 hours of screen on time, hence the Mi A1 should do slightly better, if anything. However, one major feature is lacking on the Mi A1 and that's Quick Charge 3.0 support. Motorola makes up for the slightly subpar battery life with the turbo power fast charging that'll top your phone up from 15 to 100% in 1 hour 20 minutes if you use the bundle charger. Overall, both these smartphones are pretty impressive considering their price points. The Mi A1 will set you back Rs 14999, while the G5 S Plus will set you back Rs 15999 for 64GB variant. You really can't go wrong with either choice, however the Mi A1 seems more catered towards someone who needs more versatility in the camera department and needs a sleek device that they know for sure is future proof at least for 2 years in terms of updates. The G5 S Plus on the other hand is definitely robust and one that can handle a few drops surely. It'll also impress people with the fast charging and the superior selfie and video experience. That's it for this video guys.